The Netherlands has been quietly making moves behind the scenes, and many believe that they may secretly control the world economy. With their solid financial institutions and strategic partnerships, they have the power to sway global markets and potentially even crash them. But why would they do this? And how have they managed to stay under the radar for so long? These are questions that experts are scrambling to answer as the world watches and waits to see what the Netherlands will do next. Thriving Dutch Economy The Dutch economy is a true force to be reckoned with, surpassing its European and global competitors. It's an excellent choice for foreign businesses looking for a stable and rewarding investment. With the GDP per capita above EU averages and most nations, the Netherlands has repeatedly proven its worth on the global stage. The Dutch are truly impressive, ranking as the most competitive economy in Europe and the fourth most competitive nation in the world, according to the World Economic Forum. They also came fourth in the 2020 IMD rankings and fifth in the 2020 Global Innovations Index. It's no surprise that the Netherlands is such an attractive destination for businesses looking to thrive in a dynamic and innovative environment. Imagine having access to Europe's most lucrative markets within just 24 hours of driving. This is precisely what makes the Netherlands a strategic choice geographically. With state-of-the-art infrastructure, connecting the country domestically and internationally via efficient airports, railways, waterways, and ports, Amsterdam and Rotterdam are the gateway to all Europe's opportunities. The Netherlands is an intelligent choice for any business looking to expand its reach and capitalize on the countless opportunities that await. The Netherlands is a hub of innovation and entrepreneurship that beacons the world's leading businesses. It's a country committed to sustainability, digitalization, and cutting-edge ideas. The Dutch economy thrives on public-private partnerships between the private sector, research universities, and government that are shaping the future of agri-food, financial services, quantum technology, and so much more. The EU Innovation Scoreboard 2022 rated the Netherlands the fourth best nation for innovators, a testament to its unwavering commitment to future-oriented thinking. With a spirit of innovation that is second to none, the Netherlands is a place for anyone who wants to stay ahead of the curve. Why is the Netherlands so successful? Behold, the mighty Rot River. In the distant year 900 AD, a small group of settlers called this area home. But little did they know that their humble village would soon grow into a thriving community of over 500 people. However, their success could have been more lived as a devastating flood swept through the area, wiping out much of their progress. For a century, the village struggled to recover from the disaster. But then, something incredible happened. This area would become one of the most significant economic projects in history. During the mid-100s, the Rot River was notorious for wrecking havoc on its surrounding areas. The river caused severe flooding, which destroyed homes, crops, and other valuable resources. However, a solution was proposed in the form of a dam, which was eventually built along the Rot River. This engineering marvel proved to be a game-changer as it prevented devastating floods and helped reclaim a lot of the flooded land that the river had destroyed a century earlier. After the dam's construction, King William IV of Holland officially made the village a part of Holland and named it Rotterdam after the river and the dam that allowed the village to exist. This was a significant milestone in the village's history, symbolizing recognition and acceptance by the Dutch monarchy. Not long after, King William announced an ambitious canal project for Rotterdam. The canal was designed to allow ships to quickly enter and leave the city, boosting the region's economy. This was an essential moment in the history of Rotterdam as it cemented the city's position as a vital center of commerce and trade in the region. Little did they know that the Kennel project would inadvertently alter the course of history. While it did boost Rotterdam's economy, in the 1300s, the limited ship technology and international trade at the time meant that a port and canal were only utilized for nearby trade. But then, something extraordinary happened. As the race for global dominance began to heat up, Spain, Portugal, and Britain started developing new ship technologies to expand their empires. The canal was about to become a game-changer in this race to become the world's greatest empire. Throughout several centuries, the world saw an unprecedented rise in globalization and colonization. 
During this time, the port of Rotterdam emerged as one of the most significant trading hubs on the planet. In the 1600s, while other empires such as the British, Spanish, and Portuguese were preoccupied with expanding their territories and conquering new lands, the Dutch adopted a different approach. They focused on controlling a select few countries and establishing trading posts, resource exploitations, and forts rather than occupying vast expanses of land. Moreover, the Netherlands transitioned its economic policy to promote free markets, property rights for all, and high agricultural and technological investment levels. These policies paved the way for the emergence of the world's first modern economy, earning the Netherlands the reputation of a Dutch empire. During the peak of their global influence, the Dutch had a firm grip on the flow of international trade, particularly regarding the distribution of primary resources such as spices, rye, and luxurious goods. By 1670, approximately half of all European trade was conducted through Dutch ships, which primarily passed through the bustling ports of Rotterdam and Amsterdam. It is truly remarkable to consider that during a time of immense empires, the Netherlands, with a relatively small population of around 2 million, was able to command such a dominant position in world trade. One might wonder what became of this impressive trading empire. In actuality, it never truly dissolved. Even after the decolonization of its vast empire, the Dutch have remained one of the most significant trading nations in the world, conducting business with a quiet but powerful efficiency that continues to this day. If you look closely at the top guns of global exports, you'd be surprised to see what's in store for you. Undoubtedly, China, the United States, Germany, and Japan have been reigning over exports for ages. And with their mammoth populations, it's no wonder. Can you guess who's the next in line for the throne? Is it an old champion like France or the UK? Or perhaps a populist giant like India or Brazil? How about an upcoming manufacturing powerhouse like Indonesia? It's the Netherlands, folks! Yes, you heard it right. Even with just 19 million people, the Dutch are still one of the leading exporters of goods in the world. The Netherlands, renowned for its picturesque landscapes and rich cultural heritage, is also making a name for itself as a leader in the semiconductor industry. The Dutch have a long-standing tradition of innovation and a keen focus on research and development. This innovation-driven mindset laid the foundation for their foray into the semiconductor industry. The Netherlands semiconductor industry is growing quickly, with the Netherlands considered a world world leader in this industry. In 2017, the sector accounted for 5% of the economic value of all stock market registered companies in the Netherlands. In 2022, this had increased to 24% at a value of 276 billion euros. The machines produced by ASML are built in few places in the world and are necessary for the production of the highest grade semiconductors. It has a global market share of 9%, coming in fourth behind the United States, 52%, Taiwan at 16% and China at 12. The largest semiconductor companies in the Netherlands are ASML, NXP Semiconductors, and ST Microelectronics. The largest, ASML, had a revenue of 21.2 billion euros in 2022 and looks to double that in the coming year with orders in the pipeline. In terms of production, ASML delivered only 50 of their highest specification models and 400 machines in total. The Netherlands, home to ASML, is one of the world's leading suppliers of semiconductors and is a major player in the global microchip supply chain alongside the US, Taiwan, South Korea, Japan, and various European countries. Given the ongoing chip war between the US and China, the Netherlands has found itself caught in the middle of mounting political tensions between the two countries and the Dutch government's decision to ramp up restrictions on the exportation of its industry-leading chip technology to China is a sure sign the country has chosen to side with the US in cutting Beijing off the microchip supply chain. According to Reuters, China has expressed disappointment that the Netherlands are allowing political relationships to affect basic economic trade. In conclusion, it is necessary to recognize the potential impact the Netherlands can have on the world economy. While it may seem like a small country, its strategic location and powerful financial institutions give it significant influence. However, 
it is important to approach this topic with caution and not jump into conclusions or spread unfounded rumors. As with any economic issue, staying informed and aware of the various factors is essential. Make sure to let us know your thoughts down below. Subscribe to the channel as a sacrifice to the gods of the algorithm. Thanks for watching and see you next time.